Hi, this is Jim Newman from Making Ways Incorporated, and we're going to cover how to properly feed or make your own food for your fish. Foods that are typically available are either flake food, pelleted foods, or frozen foods. The frozen foods are mainly utilized for your saltwater or reef type aquarium. Pelleted foods are typically going to be utilized for your koi, for cichlids, and whatnot. Food with pellets, they're available in various sizes, micro pellets and up to the large pellets. The food should be eaten within two minutes and no more. If it takes more than two minutes, you want to go right ahead and net out the uneaten portions of food, otherwise they will cloud the tank. There are some foods that will state, will not cloud the water. This unfortunately is not true. It will cloud the water if it stays on the bottom, as it will cause a complete spike in ammonia. Frozen foods, such as the formula foods, are geared towards various saltwater fish and are available in various formulas. You can go right ahead and take a look on various forms of the frozen foods and see exactly what is inside so that if you wanted to, you can actually go right ahead and make your own food. In this instance, you have plankton, spinach, shrimp, krill, and clams. You can easily get this at your supermarket and go right ahead and grind it in a blender and then freeze it in cube trays like this. At which point you have a very economical and easy way of feeding your fish without having to spend a lot of money. Some of these foods right here, especially the, f the frozen foods, can cost you a little bit but in the long run they are worth it. Flake food, you would go right ahead, grind up, or you can actually use the frozen food Lay it down flat inside a dehydrator and dehydrate the food. That, you can go right ahead and have it flattened out into strips, grind it up, and there you have flake food. That's exactly how flake food is made. Frozen foods, of course, have a higher nutritional content in it as the items inside have not degraded in any way, shape, or form. When you're dehydrating, you are losing some of the nutrients. So sometimes you will have to go right ahead and actually soak the flake food in a nutrient type liquid, such as HUFA, which is highly unsaturated fatty acids, vitamin C, or vitamin B12. You can get these through your fish dealer, such as Celcon, which is for HUFA, highly unsaturated fatty acids, which is actually a fish oil. You can get vitamin C, or vitamin B12, which will actually help with vitamin C in a way that it will go ahead and entice the fish to eat the foods that they typically would not feed on normally right away. Once you have that in the aquarium, however, it will entice them to feed and they will become nice, fat, and healthy fish.